Today we're going to do a short and sweet three-part breathing exercise. It's just an opportunity to really start to become friends with your breath and start to notice where in your body you're noticing your breath the most. So the goal here is to really get us into our belly, breathing deep within. So this is your diaphragm, which sits right under your sternum, and it's almost like this jellyfish that contracts and expands as you breathe. We call this belly breathing because the easiest way to get deep into the motion of working the diaphragm muscle is through belly breathing. That's really ballooning the belly out on the inhale and then hugging the navel back towards the spine on the inhale. So we'll work on doing a couple rounds of that. I'll guide you through the first rounds and then I'm gonna breathe with you. We're then gonna move up into the supportive muscles of our breath. So the intercostals, which run along the inside of your rib cage. So if you fill into your rib cage, just kind of fill around. It's all the muscles on the flip side of that. And so we're gonna work on really expanding and contracting those. And then finally, we'll work on breathing into our chest, which is the third part of our breath, which really is these uh, muscles of the shoulder and the chest going. Typically what we find is that most people, when you're stressed, when you're anxious, when things are not really going that great, we tend to start breathing short and shallow up here in our chest. This I find is where most people feel very comfortable breathing. So we're gonna start to guide it a little low, a little deep. We might breathe a little slower and just notice how it feels. So we'll take a pause in between each one so we can really identify where that breath is coming from. So you can do this sitting like I am crisscross on the floor. I am on a meditation seat. Just keep my hips slightly above my knees for circulation. You could also sit hips to heels. And if you're in a chair, that's also okay. Just make sure that you're at the edge so your feet can firmly plant on the floor and that your back is free from any kind of support just to prevent you from slumping down into a chair. So let's find our seat. We'll close our eyes and we'll just start to really ground down through our sit bones, feeling nice and secure in this space. You're also welcome to lay down if that feels more accessible for you. We'll inhale to lengthen through our spine, letting our shoulders roll back and down so our chest is nice and open, placing your hands on your thighs or in your lap, and then tuck your chin slightly just so the back of the neck is long. And we're gonna breathe for our purposes today in and out through the nose. So you can start bringing your attention to the tip of your nose. Now, if this isn't accessible for you today, in through the nose, out through the mouth, is perfectly okay. So we'll just start to settle in here, beginning to notice this cool air as it travels in, and the warmer air as it falls out. Just taking a few moments here to observe the breath, really get familiar with where you feel the breath moving through your body, those places that tend to be really receptive and open. And equally start to pay attention maybe to those places that might need a little extra attention from your breath today, places that maybe feel like it's blocking the breath, And then begin to notice the quality of your breath as your breath feels smooth. Does it feel rigid, tight, loose? Does it tend to go deep within your body or does it tend to sit a little more shallow? Whenever I do breath practices, I really encourage you to keep your eyes closed just because this is internal. We're using our breath as a gateway inside. It really helps you get inside what's happening just to become this observer. We'll begin to take a couple breaths together. So we'll inhale through the nose and follow that breath all the way deep into your belly, letting that belly expand on the inhale, getting nice and big and round. And as you exhale, let your navel hug back towards your spine as the breath travels up and out. 
doing a couple rounds like this, inhaling low into the belly as it widens and expands, and exhale, letting it naturally contract back. Let's take a nice big inhale. And exhale, and we'll begin this breathing into our belly, in to the count of four and out to the count of four. Like I said, I will breathe with you, counting the first few, and then I'm just gonna go into the flow with you. So go ahead and take one hand and place it on your belly, and another hand can just rest on your chest. So as we breathe, this hand on your belly is gonna expand and contract, and the hand that's on your chest, we wanna keep as still as we possibly can. So find this place, and to the best of your ability, just keep your attention on your belly. We'll exhale all the air out, seal off the lips, and inhale for one, two, three, four. Your belly's nice and big, and exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and soften your gaze. Let your hands re relax down by your side. Just go back to your natural breath, making observations here. Noticing just how it felt to breathe deep into your belly. Did that feel natural or forced? Did it feel easy? Did you have to think about it? And how are you breathing now, now that you went back to a more natural cadence of your own? Do you feel yourself breathing deep into your belly? Where are you noticing your breath? We'll move in to the intercostals. So we're going to take our hands and we're going to place them right underneath our armpit. So pretty high on your side. And you might even feel into your body here, making sure you can really feel your rib cage. So our hands are going to be here and we're going to apply about five pounds of pressure, like really like pushing your rib cage, like you're trying to condense yourself inward. So when we inhale, we can really feel our hands push our rib cage out to the side. And as we exhale, it's almost as though we're guiding our rib cage back together. So working against the force of our breath. So we can really feel this expansion through the mid part of our body here. Let's go ahead and do it together. Soften your gaze, applying the pressure. We'll exhale out. Seal off the lips and inhale for one, two, three, four, and exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four, exhale four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. 
Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and release your hands down by your side and just go back again to your natural breath. Again, taking just a moment to notice how that felt, if it felt strange or easy. If you notice any subtle difference in your body and your attitude, just noticing how it felt. Do you still feel yourself slightly breathing out through your chest in your rib cage or in your belly? And again, we're just making friends with our breath here. So the third part is these accent muscles, breathing into our chest and our shoulders. We're going to do some activity with this one. So we're going to take our hands, interlace them, and place them at the base of our head with our elbows wide. And as we inhale, we're going to open our chest, maybe even leaning our head back a little bit. And to exhale, we'll round forward, bringing our elbows towards each other. And we'll inhale for one, two, three, four, and exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Let's keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and drop your hands to your side. Roll your shoulders back and down. And just keep your eyes soft here as you return to your natural breath. Making those observations. How it felt to breathe there. How it felt to have a little movement to your breath. Now we're going to add it all together. So this is fun. It takes a little bit of work, so be patient with yourself. We're going to inhale deep into our belly, letting it expand. Once that's all full, we'll begin to widen out through our rib cage, and the very top of our breath will go up into our chest. And then as we exhale, we'll exhale down from the chest, in from the rib cage, and out the belly. So it'll be belly 
rib cage, chest. Exhale, chest, rib cage, belly. Let's keep going. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale, chest, rib cage, belly. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale, chest, rib cage belly. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale, chest, rib cage, belly. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Just go back to your natural rhythm. This is three-part breathing. It's a wonderful way for you to get familiar with your breath by building one on top of the other. You really get a sense of where you're naturally breathing and how it feels to breathe and really focus on breathing in different areas of your body and seeing how maybe changing that can help bring your nervous system back into a coherent state. My name is Mary. I'm with The Breath Mindset. Thank you for practicing with me today.